There's a woman in custody asking for you. Diane Holloway? She says she knows you. What's she in for? Well, she was driving a stolen vehicle. She didn't have any idea on her. She says she's just left her husband and he reported it stolen. Who's the husband? Frank Holloway. Right. What does she look like? I wouldn't crawl over it to get to you. You know, it's how he never remembers his women till he mentioned their married name. <laughs> Matthew. Hello, Diane. It's been a long time. Two years. You haven't forgotten me then. How could I? It was a name that threw me. Holloway. You must remember Frank. You had him and his brother Bruce in here often enough. Yeah, but I didn't know you'd married him. Unfortunately. I should have taken your advice. You always said he'd end up getting me into trouble. He's accused me of stealing his car. And did you? I'm his wife. It's as much my car as it is his. Oh, you know what he's like. He's just been stupid and vindictive. I left him. This morning. You're going to be staying in Sunhill? Yeah. Were you going to get in touch? I didn't think you'd want anything to do with me after what I did to you. We all make mistakes. I can't even remember why I left now. You wanted me to leave the job. I know. But I can't remember why. I haven't got any identification on me. I'm sure they'll take my word for it. Sergeant Boyden's with her now. Where does he know her from? Don't know. When it comes to Sergeant Boyden and women, I think it's probably best not to ask. Uh, have you managed to contact the husband yet? No, Sarge, but we've confirmed her identity. Sergeant Boyden knows her. All oh, right, I'll release her on bail then. You know her then, Sarge? Yeah. Let me know when you're finished. Sarge? So does your mum still live in Sunhill? Yeah, Cheetham Road. She spends half her year in her villa in Spain. I've been coming back for marriage at the weekends to give Nana her house. What, on your own? Frank had to work. First it was a drag schlepping backwards and forwards all the time, then I started looking forward to it. Well, oh, here we are. So whose place is this in? It's one of the houses Mum rents out. We're just staying until she finds a tenant. Why aren't you staying at her place? Because I don't want Frank to come looking for me. Are you going to come in? I can't. Maybe when I'm off duty. We can catch up. I'd like that. It is over between you and Frank. This is not just a lover's no, tiff. No, it's over. Yeah. Call me. Thanks for the lift. You're welcome. See you later. Bye. Go ahead, George. 16 Doyle Road. Disturbance. Two men arguing outside a garage. Can you deal? On way. Informant to Mr. Collins from the house next door. Received. Sierra Oscar from 79 receiving. Go ahead, Sarge. Yeah, show me dealing Doyle Road as well, George. Received. She's one one. When you don't chase it after her, Frank, she can't give it to me. How the hell should I know? Put it down. It's alright, it's my brother. Come on, don't be silly. Put it down. Don't be stupid! <laughs> Get up. Oh, right! I'm arresting you for assault! There's no need for that, he's my brother! Oh, well, your brother's now under arrest! We're just having a bit of a barney, that's all. Hey, you might as well let him go. I'm not gonna press charges. No, I am. Come on. What's your name? Be smart for once in your life, Frank. Keep your mouth shut. Do you mind telling me what all this is about? Well, let me have a word. I'm afraid it's going beyond that now. Sarge. Everything all right, Deb? Dave's inside talking to the brother. Hello, Frank. Didn't take you long to get back into the swing of things. What's she doing here? What's your name, Sarge? Frank Holloway. Oh, Diane's husband? Yeah. She was at the station earlier. Remember you reported your car stolen? She said she just split up. Is that what all this is about? What else did she tell you? That you're a complete waste of space and nothing but trouble? 
And she's not wrong neither. I bet she didn't tell you she's been having enough with my own brother. Who told you that? She did! I don't care. He can have her. All right, then. Bruce. Did you have to arrest him? Your brother's just a sort of WPC, Mr Holloway, and he was trying to brain you with this. It's me kid brother. We're always fighting about something. You know what he's like, he's an idiot. He said you've been seeing his wife. Is it true? What's it to you? Is that why she left him? How do you know she's left him? Because I've just spoken to her. Didn't waste any time, did you? All right, Dave. Such? Leave it to me. Right. Well? What? Is there something going on between you and Diane or not? Are you worried about stepping on me toes? Matthew. Can I come in? Yeah. Is he called? Who? Bruce. Oh, why would Bruce want to call me? Frank's been arrested. What? Try to part Bruce's hair with a tie lever. Oh, is Bruce all right? Yeah. How much has Frank told you? That you've been seeing Bruce. Why didn't you say something? Because it's none of your business. Besides, it's over. It's been over for months. Then why's Frank suddenly gone AY? Because he's only just found out. Sorry, what was I supposed to say? Oh, hello, Matthew. What have you been up to? Oh, me? I've been having an affair with my brother-in-law. It's not exactly the first thing you say to someone you ain't seen for two years. Is that why you came back to Sun Hill? To see Bruce? I came back to get away from Frank. We're going to give him a caution and let him go. Frank, this is DS Greg. You asked to see me? You're the one that raided up Bruce's garage about six months ago and didn't find anything. You want to tell me something I don't know? You didn't find anything because you were looking in the wrong place. Where should we have been looking? The gear was in one of the cars parked outside. It was right under your nose. Yeah, well, this is all very interesting, Frank, but it was six months ago. It's not much use just now. Would be if there was another shipment. Pound and a half of H. When does it arrive? It's already here. Where? You tell me. You stopped the car. What car? Your car. The one your wife was driving this morning, the Jeep. Yeah. The gear's hidden in the spare tire. Why are you telling us this, Frank? It's been playing on my conscience. Wouldn't have anything to do with the fact that your wife's been having an affair with your brother, would it? Does your wife know there are drugs in the car? Oh, yeah. Debbie. Sarge. What's happened to Frank Holloway? He's talking to DS Greg. Apparently see idea of interest in his brother. What about your assault charge? Inspector Monod's gonna caution him. I'll leave it at that. Right. See you later. How do you know that Bruce hasn't taken the gear and stashed it somewhere else? I asked Uniform to drive past Elcott Road. The Jeep's still there. And what's Frank's part in all this? He works on one of the Cross Sea Ferries. He brings the gear to the country, his wife Diane drives it down to Sun Hill, and Bruce takes care of the distribution. What do you need? I need bodies, Gov. I've sent Rod and Les down to Elcott Road. I need someone to tail Bruce and someone to keep an eye on Diane. It's going to take time, Gov. Right, well, you better get onto the drug squad and let them know what's happening. You want to see what she's up to? Right. DC case from DS Craig receiving. Go ahead, Sarge. Diane's just gone into a restaurant on Brim Road. Anything happening your end? Nothing, Sarge. With a bit of luck, she'll be meeting Bruce Holloway. Then at least we'll know where he is. I can't see anything, Sarge. We're going to take a look in the restaurant. Over. Sarge. What the hell's he doing here? So how long after you left?
left Sun Hill, did you marry Frank then? About a year. I thought you might have come looking for me. I didn't know where you were. It would have been that difficult to find. I mean, Harridge isn't exactly the other side of the world. And even if it was, if I'd really meant that much to you, you'd have found me. I wasn't the one that left. No. I must have needed my head examining. For letting you go and going back to Frank. No. You didn't let me go. You left me. There is a difference. It didn't take me long to realise I'd made a mistake. It just took me a long time to admit it. It's so good to see you again. Excuse me, love. What are you doing here? I was about to ask you the same thing. We're following Diane Holloway. I didn't know she was going to be spending the evening with you. Well, there's no reason why you should. Are you going to tell me what's going on? She may be involved in a drugs ring with Bruce Holloway. We're hoping she might pick up the gear and lead us to Bruce. Where did this information come from? Wait a minute, don't tell me. Frank Holloway. Frank's been arrested for smuggling drugs into the country, and it's not the first time that Bruce's name has come off as a dealer. And you believed him? Diane's just left him. She's been having an affair with his brother. I'm aware of that. And you don't think he might be trying to get his own back? Look, I know Frank Holloway. He's a head case. Whose idea was the meal? Why? She must be wondering why her husband's still in custody. I can't think of a better way of finding out whether he said anything than inviting a friendly policeman out for an intimate meal. Well, she won't get anything out of me, will she? I don't know anything. Maybe we ought to keep it that way. What do you mean by that? You're taking an awful risk, aren't you, Matthew? If she is involved, she could end up dragging you down with her. I don't think she is involved. So what are we supposed to do now? Well, she's not going to lead you anywhere with me in tow, is she? You may as well go. That depends on how much of the evening you're planning to spend together. Well, let's put it this way, Alistair. She won't be going anywhere without me. If she is with you when the deal goes down, she's got the perfect alibi. I hope she's worth it. Right. Ready to order? Yeah. <laughs> Why is Frank still in custody? We're not going to talk about Frank all night, are we? No, of course not. I was just wondering why he was still at Sun Hill. Just giving him a chance to calm down? He hasn't said anything. What about? About me and Bruce. Not that I'm aware of. Why? I just thought he might have said something. Dragged something out from the past. Try and get Bruce into trouble. Has he? Not to me. But he has said something to someone. Look, you know you shouldn't ask me something like that. Is that why you invited me out to dinner? I invited you because I wanted to see you. Didn't realise you'd still be on duty. I'm not. I'm here because you asked me. And if you're in some kind of trouble, I'd like to help. Has Frank accused me of something? Oh, whatever it is he said, you believed him. I haven't spoken to him. I've been off duty since two o'clock. Matthew. Whatever they're doing, they're doing on their own without any help from me. There's no point carrying on with this if you don't believe me. Might as well just go. No, you don't have to go. I thought you were following Diane. She's already got a chaperone for the evening. Who? Matthew Boyden. You're joking. He was waiting at the restaurant for her. There's not a lot of point following her if she's going to be with him all night. What do you think he's playing her? Do you think he'd say anything? Well, I don't know. But if Bruce doesn't turn up to collect the gear, we'll know why. Hmm. I was coming back and forth on the train. Bruce offered to teach me how to drive. Well, one thing led to another. What's he up to? Look, I can't help you if you don't let me. I'm not interested in him. I'm interested in you. I honestly don't know. I know they raided his garage about six months ago. I think they were looking for drugs, but they didn't find anything. Did you ask him about it? Yes, of course I did. But you know what Bruce is like. Trying to get information out of him is like trying to get blood out of a stone. I don't know any more than that. You do believe me, don't you, Matthew? Not hungry. 
Lost my appetite. I haven't. Shall we go? Right, there you go. Cotton chips, no salt, no vinegar. Great. The cause. Want to explain? I have to give the others airs first. But Matthew Bowden isn't eating cold fish and chips. No, he's not going to be spending the night on a car through his nuts off either. Yeah, just got back. No, he hasn't. Yes. When? No. Okay. That was Bruce. He's on his way round. Why? He's coming to pick up some keys. He's been waiting for the all clear. The gear's hidden in the Jeep's spare tyre. I thought you said you weren't involved. You didn't believe me though, did you? No. You obviously know what's been going on. If Frank's been talking to CID, he'll have told him everything. Never could keep his mouth shut. Why didn't you warn Bruce? You could have said something. I'd have been none the wiser. I made the wrong choice last time between you and Frank. I don't want to make the same mistake twice. You're going to arrest him when he gets here? Can't arrest him here. There won't be enough evidence to tie him to the drugs. Have to wait till he collects the Jeep. The gear's not in the Jeep. I removed it this afternoon, after you told me Frank had been arrested. Well, where is it? got a cab. I took the spare tyre around my mum's. It's in her garage. You should have told me this earlier. Better late than never, eh? That'd be Bruce. He was phoning from the mobile. Right, give him the keys. Get rid of him as quick as you can. Okay. Boy can say. Oh, he said they're just going to keep Frank in overnight, give him a chance to cool down. You sure he hasn't said anything about the gear? Yeah. Where are the keys? Yeah. This won't take very long. I could come back when I've finished. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Why don't you give Boyden a call? See if he wanted to come round for a cup of cocoa. I think I need a drink. I need to use the phone. Are we going to sit here all night then? Can you think of an alternative? Mm. Hello. Matthew, I trust you're having a pleasant evening. We're at the Jeep now. Where's it going? Are you sure? Right, thanks Matthew. Cheatham Road. Right. DC case from DS Greg. We'll see you then. Did they ask you how you knew where the drugs were? No. Then they don't know the information came from me. No. This was going to be the last time. And I was getting out. I don't understand why you got involved in the first place. I needed the money. Your mother owns half a Sun Hill. It's not mine, is it? I want my own money. I wanted my own villa in Spain. But you weren't prepared to work for it like everybody else? No. He's already here. DC's case from DS Greg. We'll see you then. 
Go ahead, Sarge. Where are you, Rod? We're right behind you. Just about to turn into Cheatham Road. Stay where you are. Holloway's already here. Looks as if he's leaving. We'll see which way he goes, over. Received. Right, Rod, he's heading your way. He's in a green BMW. Mike 906 Lima Uniform Charlie. Well, we have visual contact. He's just turning left into Cheatham Drive. Over. Pierce Greg from Skase receiving. Go ahead, Rod. The target has just pulled up outside the workshop in Doral Road. Received. He's going inside now. Over. Be with you in a second, Rod. Received. inside. Alright. You and Rod go around the back. Hello, Bruce. Working late. Kill you! I'll kill you! Bruce would have dumped Frank ages ago. But Frank had all the contacts in Amsterdam. I bet he neglected to mention that. Bruce doesn't know the supplier, and Frank doesn't know who the buyers are. Do you? It's valuable information, isn't it? Hello? Yeah. Hold on. It's for you. Yeah, hello? Right. Yeah, OK. See you later. Has he been arrested? Yeah. Are they going to come and arrest me? I'm supposed to do that. In spite of what Frank might say, there's no real evidence against me. Bruce isn't going to say anything. He doesn't know you were here when I gave him the keys. You're the only one who can prove that I'm involved. What exactly are you trying to say? If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be in this mess. You're asking me to leave the job again? I'm asking you to turn a blind eye. Mouse the same thing. That's why I was so glad to see you this morning. I didn't know how to ask for your help, but I do now must know how I feel about you. How you feel about me now that you need my help? Tell me something, Diane. How long would it last this time? Sorry. You're on your own. 